celebrate my birthday, baby. This is habit forming because this makes life easier. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Rebecca Robeson and I know I don't look like I normally do when I come on here. I have kind of a fun, somewhat maybe random video for you today. Before I get started, I wanna thank our sponsor, Care Of. I will tell you more about that a little later in the video. But here's what I'm doing. The subject of my makeup has always been kind of random to me. It has nothing to do with interior design. But you know what, as I thought about it, I realized actually it does. All of my life, all of my career, I have spent my life walking into someone's home, seeing what it looked like before, and then having a vision for what it could look like after. And somehow I'm able to get it there. It's the same thing with your body and your face. You know, we gotta take care of this body and guess what? On April 1st this year, I'm turning 65 years old. So it's now a full-time job, not kidding. Today I'm gonna to show you how I do my makeup and my regime on vitamins and the things I'm doing to try to make myself feel as good as possible and look as good as possible. So let's get started. You'll see that I have linked in the show more box below a bunch of these different products that you're gonna to see today. Now it's funny because when you typically watch someone who's doing a makeup tutorial, they've got, it's a brand deal or they're using brand new makeup and it looks so perfect. Well, mine is just what it is. <laughs> I just kind of at the last minute decided to do this video. So you're seeing the real raw, true stuff. I start with a thin layer of foundation. Now the foundation I wear is probably thicker than what most of you are used to wearing. And I do that, well, for a couple of reasons. One, because I'm on camera a lot, so this is pretty much what I do when I'm filming. But I'm also older, so I'm trying to cover up my blemishes, my little red spots, age spots. And there's a few little tricks that you can do if your skin is aging like mine is, and I'll show you what that is. I even include putting that thin layer of makeup all over my face, not just my face, but my throat and my actual eyelids, both under and over. It just gives kind of a, a foundation, huh, funny. It is foundation, right? But it gives me just a starting point. You might notice here that I have permanent eyebrows and eyeliner. And although it looks a little funny with no makeup on because they look super dark, when I do put my makeup on, I don't know, it all just kind of blends together just perfectly. The next thing I do is add a liquid eyeshadow. And this is in sort of a caramel color. Again, it's linked below if you're interested. And this gives me a nice base for kind of a shadowing and contouring of my eyelids. I take an additional brush and I blend that out to my eyebrow line and then into the corners of my eyes. The next step is to take some liquid highlighter and I start up, I take that kind of out almost towards my ears and then underneath my eye. Then I use a previously moistened sponge to softly blend that into that light layer of foundation that I've already put on. Now, well, I'm just gonna tell you, you're gonna look a little bit like owl eyes for a few minutes, but as the other layers go on, it'll all begin to make sense. If I feel like the color of the highlight I used is not bright enough, for instance, on a day I'm gonna be filming, I add just a little dollop of an even lighter shade of highlighter and blend that in as well. A little tap tap of that same light white highlighter on my eyelids themselves I think it really brings out my blue eyes. Just keep it on the lower lid, right about up to that crease. Time to use a second little sponge. I add just a little bit of warm water to it and squeeze it out. And then I use my foundation, the same one I used before, and I start the process of the second layer of foundation. I'm careful to blend around that light highlight color that I put on so I don't get rid of it altogether, but I do blend it so that I no longer look like an owl. The sponge effect, I think, leaves a smoother finish 
than the brush does. That's why I use that for my second layer. I give it a once over and if there's anything else that looks like it's not quite smooth or blended in, I take care of it right then. And then take an additional sponge. Now I have a little tiny one and it is not wet, but I go over the area underneath my eye where that makeup might tend to collect so that I can make sure that any excess makeup or foundation is no longer inside of those creases. Measure out just a little bit of this setting powder. I use a special little finger applicator and I put that setting powder in there. And by pressing it in, both the warmth of your skin, the warmth of your finger, and just by the mere pressing, it will set that makeup underneath of your eye really, really nicely and smoothly. And even at the end of the day, you will not get pools of makeup in between the, well, let's just say folds of your skin. In the nasal labial folds, I press that powder in there after daubing it up with that little sponge. And then I get the corners of my mouth too. Oh, and that area, at the tip of your nose, right down to the center of your top lip, another good place and good area to put that setting powder. Now, it's time to take my big old brush, and now I just do it all over my whole face. It just kind of takes the shine away that the makeup puts on, and it blends all of the stuff that you just pressed on over your entire face. One last thing that I've learned lately is that my upper lids also get that makeup pooling in between the wrinkles. So the dry little sponge kind of smooths all that makeup that you've already applied out and you can apply some of the setting powder on there as well. Now in that case, I don't, you know, push it in. I just use a brush. Time to get into the artistry. Here's what I like so much about Care Of and why it appeals to me. Well, by answering the online questionnaire that Care Of has put together, it's super simple. How does your skin feel generally? Like, it feels like a snake skin. Dry, tight or flaky. Well, it does flake sometimes. And dull. Oh, I get to pick more than one. Should I pick all of them? <laughs> I'm a hot mess. I mean, if I need something, I'm gonna say it because I don't like how my hair is growing or my nails. So they know exactly what I need and they put it together for me like this. And they put it in this really easy to use pouch. And all your vitamins and supplements for the most part are in here. That is so simple. I'm about ready to leave on a trip, so I'm just gonna pull out five of these, stick them in my suitcase, and I'm done. In my packet of supplements and vitamins, there are some things in there that I would never have known that I need. This one is for your hair and your skin, and it's called Anthropanther. Banton Panton. And it's from the Himalayan mountains, and apparently it's supposed to make your hair and your skin look good. How do I look so far? Okay, good, it's working. And this one is iron. It gives you energy. Oh my gosh, if I get focus and energy, that is a win. This is habit forming because this makes life easier. When you go and check it out online, if you use the Kenwoven50 discount code, you're gonna get 50% off of your first month. So it's a subscription-based plan and it'll come to you every single month. Pretty amazing. of those liner eyeliner pencils or pens it's kind of like a felt tip pen but with a very very pointy tip you'll notice I don't go all the way into the corner of my eye yet I go in pretty far but not all the way to the corner there she is she's starting to get some eyes <laughs> With all that makeup, my light colored lashes, and my light colored eyes, I almost disappear, right? I find that a waxed pencil, and I use black, a charcoal black, to create an under eye liner, works just fine. I go in as far as my lash line, and I leave the very corners free. And I'll show you how I connect all that in just a minute. 
I'm going to try now to show you the, uh, the brushes that I use and the shape of them. I think it would be helpful for you. I just look at that. Isn't that just disgusting? I told you I'm just, I'm just using my regular makeup. Trust me, it's way prettier when it comes. All right. This is where I take, this is the only time I use any kind of metallic anything on my face because I think metallic tends to exacerbate your wrinkles. But I use just a little of this and it's a charcoal, like a metallic charcoal. I really love it. And I cover, essentially I cover that black wax pencil. I've kind of gotten into using this kind of, I don't know, caramel shade under those two layers of liner underneath of my eye. It is a very, very subtle addition to my makeup. It pretty much brings in the warm brownish shade that I put above my eyes. It's super subtle. Time for a little refresh on that coppery color that I put above my eyelids trying to create some depth. Now this is an angled brush and I just go in with more of that color. Now remember it was liquid before, liquid shadow. Now it is a powdered shadow. I just fill that in and I blend it out. While I'm in there, I use a skinnier brush but equally soft and blending to bring that caramel color right down into the crease in the corner of my eyes as well. I wear Moxie Lash lashes. The magnetic liner is what keeps these cool lashes on, but that magnetic liner is not something you want to get in your lashes if you can help it. Taking care to make sure that I have a fair amount of this liner in the corners. I find the corner on the outside and the corner on the inside are both super important in order for these lashes to, to hold all day. Just a little side note, you probably want to let that magnetic eyeliner dry for a good three to five minutes. All right, now here's how I bring those tattooed eyebrows back into the scene. Now the foundation I wear is pretty heavy duty. So what I do is I use some of my soap and then I have a special brush, my little pink brush, and I use that to mix up some soapy water and just run that across my eyebrows. And then I go over it with a Q-tip afterwards. Now you're gonna see when you look at the other eye, the difference between the eyebrow that has the uh, foundation still over it and the one that does not. Now I use my super white blending brush to make sure that all these different things I put on are blending so it doesn't look jarring in any one location. FYI, I do that same soap and water trick to my lips because for some reason that foundation really sticks to that area. So by putting a little soap and water on it and using the old Q-tip trick, my lips are primed and ready to receive both lip liner and lipstick. I'll put this product in the description box below, but I use sort of a contour powder. It's almost like a bronzer, but I like to put that under my cheekbones and then put the color on top because that gives me a little bit more of a high cheekbone effect. You know, it's like a shadow. Time to put on the blusher and I do a mixture of both pink and rust. I don't know, I'm sure somebody makes that color, but I just mix them up because I have them and it seems to suit whatever I'm wearing. Now remember, you've got that light highlight just below the eyelid part, your lower lid. So you wanna make sure that you keep that channel of the, the bronzer or the shadowing underneath of your cheekbone, the color on the cheekbone and the light is still above that. Well, I take that big old blending brush I have that still has some of that setting power in it and look how beautifully those two colors blend together. You see the difference of it being blended versus not? Now my face is starting to come into what you guys know as me. I still 
run a simple thin layer of mascara over my own lashes. Mostly because I think my lashes have turned gray, to be honest with you. Isn't that just so embarrassing? Yes. If I don't put something on my own lashes when the false ones are on top of it, I feel like it looks like I have feathers, like down. <laughs> I've got down between my actual eyeballs and my false lashes. So this just gives them a little bit of color. And you can tell, even when I put mascara on, you can't see my lashes at all. Okay, drum roll please. Time to put on my magnetic lashes. This is what honestly I think is what makes me feel, well, the lashes are called sexy, but I'm gonna say sassy. Take those lashes in your tweezers and I start on the outside of the lid. I find that that is just, Every time I start on the inside, I get one eye different than the other. So by starting on the very outside of my eye in the corner, I can place those just fine. And honestly, every single time, they end up looking even on both sides. The only thing left for me to do at this point is to add some mascara to my lower lashes. Not a lot, but just enough to make it look like my lashes are not as fake as they would look otherwise because if I had lashes on the top that were that long, I'd probably have lashes on the bottom too. I don't know about you guys, but lining my lips and doing my lipstick is just such a pain anymore. I think my lips have gotten crooked. They're a different size on one side than the other. <laughs> Every time I put my lipstick on and my liner, I then smile and I go, well, that's all messed up. So I spend a little extra time making sure that I line my lips and if I have to overline, sometimes I will. Again, janky lipstick because that is a broken lipstick, but I like this color. I mean, anyone who's actually doing a makeup tutorial <laughs> would not have such used looking stuff. Anyway, it's real. I am going into this next season of my life with all cylinders firing. I am not going to stop. I'm gonna keep working, I'm gonna keep making YouTube videos, keep doing design and making a difference in people's lives. And in order to do that, I wanna feel confident. I feel confident in my home. I wanna feel confident in my body. How many of you watching today suffer from or struggle with the same kind of things? You wanna look your best, you wanna feel your best, you wanna have your most energy and enjoy this season of life, right? Well, that's what I'm doing. So between the exercise, which I need to do a lot more than I do, uh, the new vitamins that I'm taking from Hair of Vitamins and doing my hair and makeup every day, I think I'm at least putting in the effort. What do you think? All right, you guys, I hope you have a great week and I will see you guys next week. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. If you're not subscribed, leave a comment. I wanna know what you think. And, uh, and remember, all of the stuff, not all of it, but practically everything that I put on today is in the show more box below. So I hope you have a good time shopping. If there's a few things that you need, you know, a lot of the makeup I have, I did it by watching other YouTube videos and clicking the Amazon link, links and just buying it because it's so easy. Okay, is there anything else to say? I don't think so. I think it's time to woo celebrate my birthday, baby. I can't believe I'm 65. Ah! How old are you? How rude. Goals. Is weight loss part of this? <laughs> when it comes to exercise, you care most about being filmed and proving that I did it. That's the answer, but that's not what an option here.